for people who don't know, you, you transfer clubs and they ban you for a year for transferring clubs. That's yeah. a se- essentially the long and short of it, right? Yeah. Um, it seems slightly over the top now in retrospect. I, I, it's crazy to think what went on. I, I, I lost so many friendships over it. And for a club that all I did was just give my time. Like I was coaching on the rage teams. I was working in the bar. I was doing everything. It probably went against me in the end that I was doing so much that that was the reason why they were blocking me. Uh, I found it hard because my family were very involved in the club, very involved, and uh, yeah, look, it, it, it was one of them things at the time where it's fourteen years ago now, and I can see it still has like yeah, because like, like these were my mates growing up, and I had a lot of time for them. I'm, I'm like my best mate Dave Mooney is still playing for O'Toole's and I would like him to play m- more football with him, but it just wasn't wasn't for me. Like the ambition of what the team wanted and what the club wanted was totally different than what I wanted and after experiencing the Dublin setup and seeing what it should be and then going back to like four or six lads training playing backs and forwards watching 30 lads hurling training it was it was tough um, and I told this is a great club it's just it, it, it wasn't what I wanted like you know and I I know that's an easy thing to say and then leave but it, I think the mistakes that were made on both sides about the whole club saga it just it, it made things so negative between us and a year suspension like yeah you, and could, that's you could headbutt somebody and get like six months do you know the thing that really gnawed at me as well was that they came like I was training with Dublin and the uh, committee came to the training and with representatives from the county board and said he's not allowed to train like you know if you want me to go back play for the club that's not the way to do it you know so in fairness I was so lucky to have Pat and Mickey involved there Uh, they stood the ground and like even when I came back to play in 2010 I wasn't allowed to be named on the programme I hadn't I was given squad number 33 or something like that for the, for the game and as we were walking out Pat said you need to perform because if, if you don't the fans won't care you know like you know you need to have people on your side in this argument